All new at 6 tonight, they're marketed as a safe way to quit smoking, but are e-cigarettes and the secondhand smoke from them also dangerous? ABC 2 News' Megan Knight looks at the safety concerns. Travis Saul started using e-cigarettes or vaping a year ago. Vaping, it's a way of life. I mean, it, if, if you want to quit smoking, vaping will work. The father of two said he turned to e-cigarettes to quit traditional ones, an 18-year habit he wanted to kick for his family. I'd have to go outside to smoke, and they'd want to come be around me, and I don't want them around it, you know, because the second hand's just as bad as the, the initial smoking. He's now the general manager of Vapor, a company that sells electronic cigarettes in stores and online. Saul says they're safe. There's less in our e-liquid than there is in the air you breathe every day. There are no long-term health studies on electronic cigarette vapor. They contain nicotine, but work differently than tobacco cigarettes. It heats up a mixture of nicotine, propylene, glycol, and other chemicals, and that heated mixture becomes an aerosol, which is inhaled deeply into your lungs to deliver the addictive drug nicotine. Stanton Glantz is a professor of medicine at the University of California at San Francisco and one of the leading researchers on e-cigarettes. He believes calling vaping safe is a lot of smoke and mirrors. If you're around somebody using e-cigarettes, you're breathing in ultrafine particles, you're breathing in nicotine. There's no research that shows non-smokers around people using e-cigarettes have detectable levels of nicotine in their bodies. With more cities banning e-cigarettes, we wanted to do our own testing. I would say that e-cigarettes are the cigarette of the 21st century. Scientist Prue Talbot and her team at the University of California Riverside were among the first in the country to analyze e-cigarettes. Team 10 tested two brands using this smoking machine and a specialized microscope. The first test showed us this. There's quite a bit of tin. Most of this, uh, most of this material is comprised of tin. There's also some oxygen, some copper, some nickel. The e-cigarette smoking everywhere platinum created this pellet. The slide shows us what we found in the fluid. I think the fact that there is a significant amount of tin in, in these pellets is important. This means people who are using this product are potentially going to be inhaling the tin. Talbot said inhaling tin directly or secondhand can be dangerous. Nanoparticles in general can be toxic. In the case of the e-cigarette, is the nanoparticles would tend to go deeper into the respiratory system. These particles are so very small that they actually get from your lungs straight into your bloodstream and carry the toxic chemicals into your blood and then they appear in various organs. Dr. Talbot has tested many brands of e-cigarettes and each one has a different result because each brand is manufactured differently. For our second test, Dr. Talbot looked at the Mystic e-cigarette, a different brand we bought in a drugstore. There was no tin found in the liquid in this brand. In the vapor, she found concentrations of copper and calcium and potassium. But Dr. Talbot said she wants to do more research because this was only one study. Still, Saul said e-cigarettes are safe. He'll let his own kids vape when they turn 18, and he says he will still be vaping too. I'll probably just vape forever, honestly. Megan Knight, ABC2 News. We contacted Mystic, but have not heard back. We also tried to contact Smoking Everywhere, but that company is based in China, and we haven't found them yet. Most e-cigarettes are made in China. Right now, no regulation of this industry by the FDA over e-cigarettes that deliver nicotine. Now, coming up tonight at 11, Megan takes a look at whether the e-cigarette can actually be used to help people quit smoking. If you want a more detailed look at how e-cigs actually function, go to our website. You can find more on vaping, including what the CDC says about e-cigarettes. Cigarette use in kids. You'll find that ABC2news.com.